Hi guys! Hi! And welcome back to our Black History Month videos for the month of February. So, we've been reading a page from Little Legends, Exceptional Men in Black, Black History. History, every day for this month. But, today we're going to do something a little bit different. Still on the same topic of exceptional men, but this time, because we are in St. Lucia, we are going to be covering two exceptional men in Black history from St. Lucia. Now, St. Lucia will be observing their independence on February 22nd. So we thought it appropriate to do something about exceptional men in St. Lucia. So Arthur Lewis, was born on January 23rd, 1915 in the Caribbean island of St. Lucia. His parents, both school teachers, were immigrants from Antigua. He completed his school curriculum at the age of 14 and went to work as a clerk in the civil service. After graduating, Lewis's initial career choice was to become an engineer. Yeah. He made the eventual switch to economics because the governments and companies of the West Indies, such as St. Lucia, refused to hire blacks. What's blacks? Black people. Oh. In 1932, he won the government scholarship and went on to study at the London School of Economics. He was the first black individual to ever gain acceptance to the London School of Economics. After gaining his Bachelor of Science degree in 1937 and a PhD in 1940 at the London School of Economics, Lewis worked as a member of the staff at the LSE until 1948. One of the pioneers in the field of modern development economics, Sir Lewis was the first black faculty member at the London School of Economics, first black person to hold a chair in a British university, and the first black instructor to receive full professorship at Princeton University. Sir Lewis served as an economic advisor to numerous African and Caribbean governments, namely Nigeria, Ghana, Trinidad and Tobago, Jamaica, and Barbados. When Ghana gained independence in 1957, its government appointed Sir Lewis as their first economic advisor. He helped draw up its first five-year development plan from 1959 to 1963. In 1959, Sir Lewis returned to the Caribbean region when appointed Vice Chancellor of the University of the West Indies. Sir William Arthur Lewis was an economist well known for his contributions in the field of economic development. He was awarded the Order of the British Empire OBE by Queen Elizabeth II in 1963, and in 1979, he won the Nobel Prize in Economics, becoming the first black person to win a Nobel Prize in a category other than peace. Wow! wow. And now moving on to the next, Derek Walcott. Born on January 23, 1930, to Warwick, a civil servant, and Alex Marlon Walcott, an elementary school teacher, Derek Alton Walcott, his twin brother Roderick, and sister Pamela were raised in Castries, St. Lucia, in the West Indies by their mother after their father died when the twins were one years old. Walcott's first published poem was printed in the newspaper the voice of St. Lucia at age 14. Inspired by his father, a talented painter, and encouraged by his mother, a lover of the arts, Walcott studied painting and writing. By 19, 
he had self-published his first two collections. He received the scholarship to study at the University College of the West Indies in Mona, Jamaica, where he majored in French, Latin, and Spanish. At college, he began writing plays. His first, about the revolutionary Haitian leader Henry Christophe, was produced in St. Lucia in 1950. He graduated with the Bachelor of Arts in 1953. After graduation, Walcott moved to Trinidad, where he became a critic, teacher, and journalist. Mm -hmm. In 1959, he and his twin brother founded the repertory company Little Carib Theatre Workshop, which later became the Trinidad Theatre Workshop. Walcott became internationally prominent with the collection In a Green Night, Poems 1948 to 1960, but it was his epic poem Homeros reimagining the Trojan War as a Caribbean fisherman's fight, which cemented him in the literature firmament. During his expansive career, Walcott shifted between poetry, playwriting, and directing. His most well-known play is Dream on Monkey Island, which debuted off-Broadway in 1971 and for which he won an Obie Award. Derek Walcott, a West Indian poet and playwright noted for works that explore the Caribbean cultural experience, received the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1992. From these two readings, we find out that St. Lucia has two Nobel laureates. So, Derek Walcott and Sarah Lewis. Both were born on January 23rd. So, these are two exceptional men from the island of St. Lucia that we should know more about. And if you've never heard of Derek Walcott and if you've never heard of Sir Alpha Lewis, now's the time to Google and find out more. And you can read about Sir Alpha Lewis's strides in economics and read all the poems and poetry and writings of Derek Walcott. So as usual, hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to give us a thumbs up. Turn on your notifications and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss when we post up another video. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.